It's the most overhyped game of the year. It's not Skyrim in space, they've got egg on their face, cause it's mostly mid-tier. It's the most overhyped game of the year. Why did this take so much time to appear? They've got infinite space, but it seems such a waste, cause the fun disappeared. It's the most overhyped game of the year. We've been waiting for it, but the game's mostly shit. Why did I get my hopes up for this? When will Xbox bring me a game that we will see with the game of the year candidates? It's the most overhyped game of the year. It's so bloated and vast and the graphics suck ass What am I doing here? It's the most overhyped game of the year Hi, my name is Paul the Pizza Hidey hidey ho 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 We're back! It's an all new Mega Dad's holiday Christmas special, and I'm here with Nora. And I'm also here with Elliot Leonard. And we're here to talk all about Christmas. Since I'm a piece of pizza, there's a lot of things about the world that I don't know. And Christmas is definitely one of those things that I have a hard time understanding. Today we're going to talk all about one of the most famous Christmas characters of all time. His name is Randy the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You guys know Randy the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Really? And it's Rudolph. Rudolph? Yeah. Yeah. Like Rudolph Giuliani? No, no, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, that's right. Now, for those of you who don't know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, he's got a magical honker on the front of his face. It acts like a headlight, like on, a, on the front of a car or a flashlight, and he sticks his big fat face in front of Santa Claus's sleigh to help him fly through the world on Christmas Eve. Is that right? Am I getting everything right so far? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So here's my question. I got a couple questions about this. First of all, how's his nose glow? What happened? Was he, was he radiated like the Incredible Hulk? Is he infused with gamma radiation? Probably uh, was helping Santa put up lights on his sleigh and accidentally swallowed one and it got it stuck in his nose. He accidentally swallowed a light bulb and then he went <laughs> and he snorted it up in his nose. Is that what I'm getting? That's the story we're going with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, here's another question. Let's just say, let's just say for the sake of argument that Rudolph is actually infused with nuclear power. If he shot out a booger, would that act like a plasma grenade? Uh, no, it'd probably act like Ninja Turtle Goo. Ninja Turtle Goo? You saying his boogers could turn a turtle into a crime fighter? Mm-hmm. That's insane. I don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't make any sense. Last question about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You think if he plugs his nose, the red light comes out his butthole? No. No. <laughs> Why not? If he stops no. that light from coming out one hole, it's got to come out another. He can't plug his nose. He's what do you mean he can't plug his nose? He's a reindeer. He's got nostrils, don't he? I think if he plugs that nose, he's got that shiny light just shooting out of his pooper. No, he can. Yeah, that's right. But it just won't come out of his poop. <laughs> Imagine what the toilet looks like when <laughs> Rudolph sits down there and he shoots light out of his butthole. This has got to look like a party down there. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye. Happy holidays, everyone. It's time for another installment of the Mega Dad's holiday gift giving guide and today we're going to be talking about something that we think you can get for your family that's cheap if you're on a budget and you're looking for something really small 
to just kind of round out your gift giving this year, uh, we've got a really great idea for you. And this is a Charlie Brown's Christmas Pinball, which is available on Pinball FX. Now, if you don't know what Pinball FX is, this is a free download. Uh, you can get it on Xbox, you can get it on PlayStation. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like a free to play pinball game that you can spend money on to get new pinball tables. And they got a lot of really cool pinball mm -hmm. tables. What are some of our favorite pinball tables that we've played on this? Um, so we like the Jurassic Park ones. Mm -hmm. We like the Charlie Brown ones and we like the Star Trek ones. There's a lot. Yeah, and they've got tons of Marvel tables. Mm -hmm. They've got yeah. Star and we Wars. they don't even have like one quarter of them. And so we got this new pinball table, which is perfect for the holiday season. The best part of Charlie Brown's Christmas Pinball is that it's only five bucks. So you can download Pinball FX for free and then select this table in their store and you can download it and have a great time for the holidays with your family for only five bucks. You can't beat that, right? Now, what we like to do with these Pinball FX is we'll, we'll fire it up in the evening, maybe after dinner, and then we'll go round and round passing the controller back and forth to try to get the high score. And I have the highest score of all of them at 11,000 and on Star Trek. And this one, I have the highest score on 7,000. 7 million. 7 million. Your, oh, yeah, your seven score millions. is 7 million, dude. I almost caught you this morning. I had 6 you million. Did. I had 6 million, 900,000. So it's great family fun. It's competitive without being like, like overcooked. It's a great time to play with the family. And of course, it's old school for you know, guys like us who love playing some of these retro things. We love pinball. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. And this is the perfect pinball experience for the holidays. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Peace away. Peace away. Christmas is all about, all about family. You're right, Lily. Christmas is all about family. And it's also about friendly competition. This year for our holiday bake-off, we are tasking our mega dads to build gingerbread houses in the theme of Portal. That's right, you can do a Shell or GLaDOS or Atlas and Peabody, the Companion Cube. Go crazy. Merry Christmas, everybody. And good competition to everyone. Merry Christmas, mega dads. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is make our gingerbread cookie dough. Me and um, because we are elite bakers, we use nothing but the best ingredients out of this bag. Get a smell of that. Mm. Powdery, powdery, powdery goodness. I had a small bowl would never have fit in this one. Oh, it's not so bad. We had a small bowl and we tried it, but. <laughs> All right, who's gonna, who's gonna crack the eggs? I'm better at cracking eggs than I. I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> bye bye, egg. Oh god. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, let's get all that extra stuff. Get that extra slimy egg snot in Ew. the bowl. Uh, I got it all over my hands. Nora, you're up. Use that muscle, Nora. Dig deep. Be bad, oh, I'm finishing mixing this. You guys got to open the candies. It's open now. Yep, but you need to put the blue ones in there, because that's what we're on the hunt for. Dump the whole bag in there. The starting noises is the worst part. Not that one. Oh, it's too much. Good thing I built up so much forearm strength. How you guys doing over there? <laughs> um, not that good. <laughs> Why not? You can probably, you can eat a few of those now. <gasps> cool! A few! A few! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, get in there. Oh yeah, that feels good. That feels good. If this was like... I want this to non be edible. And I want this to be not food. And I want this to be edible. Wait, no, not edible. I don't want it to be in containers, and I don't want it to eventually get gross, and I want it to be like Play-Doh. Why, why wouldn't we just buy Play-Doh? 
All right, now we gotta roll it up. We gotta make it a big old ball. You know what this reminds me of? Rolling a giant poop. Yeah, I say, it reminds me of when I used to change your guys' diapers. <laughs> oh, the baby powder. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This isn't the gingerbread man, no, this is the gingerbread house. Mm. Like other. Wait. <laughs> so we got my floor panels, my wall panels, some tiles cut out, and some portals. And I have no idea what I'm doing or if this is going to turn out at all. In it goes! Mm-hmm, Nora. And we're making frosting for our portals. One. And in the game portal, it's um, a blue portal and, and then there's an orange portal. And there's an orange portal. Squirt. Squirt. <laughs> Now it's too pinky. Uh, now we're getting pink. <laughs> this is gonna be a gonna it's gonna be, be a really weird. Real science experiment here. <laughs> this is the weirdest orange I ever seen. Oh, there's a lot of orange. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, how come she had to do that one? Oh, because I did this, and that makes sense. Don't you eat? My portal test chamber. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, baby. Going to bed so early tonight. <laughs> you have to dinner. You don't get dinner. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I'm eating a whole bunch of lemon M's. Lemon M's? <laughs> <laughs> That's what lemon flavored M and M's are called. Lemon M's. <laughs> lemon M's. Which are really bad. I tried one with lemons on it. I've tried um. Cutting a lemon and putting the lemon M in, it was so good. Get out of the way! <laughs> Move your big red head! <laughs> no, it's not quiet at all. Woo! Okay, so there's a Mega Dad's Bake Off, and I missed a memo somewhere because my first impulse was to get baked myself. Since I've been told that it is indeed a baking competition, so we're gonna see where this goes, but it's probably gonna be a wild evening. But I've got got my preheat a going right on the preheating is going and I'm gonna see you guys at the next step hey gamers um, update one on the bake-off um, stuff's cooking in my air fryer you can't the timer doesn't read anymore, that's fine. Uh, the oven is ready, 
So now we're gonna make, um, the french fries. Okay, we have our beautifully parchment papered, um, baking sheet, because that's what the box said to do. Gotta spread out all the french fries. Ugh. All the french fries, touch them all. Uh, here is some salt, we're just gonna very gently... I have to get some water boiling now. So we're gonna come over here. Uh, you look big enough. Yeah, there's dishes in here. So what? Oh, you think you're better than me? Bam! Whoosh! Yeah. And now, a holiday story from the Mega Dads. <laughs> I have the bearer bonds, which is the same as money, I suppose. You fool! Don't you know what Christmas is all about? No, I don't. Wait, shit. That's not it. Do -do 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 -do. Gamer baking update. I've been informed that um, uh, boiling water is not usually part of a baking recipe. Um, I'm still gonna boil this water because the little bubbles make me happy. I fear, I fear the, uh, the gummy I had at the beginning of this competition is beginning to affect my performance. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. I know how to bake. I'm gonna get some. Get some. I'm gonna get some butter. There we go. Got it. Shit. Okay, so I need both hands to pour this milk, but we're gonna add that in here. And I need my hands for the rest of it, so we'll just meet back up here at the end. Okay, love you. Alright, my entry into the Megadad's Baked Off Contest. The quesadilla with chicken nuggets french fries, and shapes mac and cheese inside. Or as I like to call it, maize. <laughs> That's actually really good. the holidays and it's time once again for another edition of Mega Dad's Holiday Gift Guide. Today we've got a gift for the little boys and girls in your family. This game is called Little Friends Puppy Island. What's this game all about, Elliot? So it's about where these, um, so there's this dog and his owners are going on vacation and you have to take care of them as babysitters as, as you go along. You find different pups and you name them and you dress them up and just give them a good life. What, what do you like so much about little friends, Puppy Island, Nora? That you can play fetch with them. You can do all sorts of things with the puppies. You can take yeah. baths, you can play fetch. This is actually the second Little Friends game that we've played before. We've, we're familiar with the Little Friends games. And this one's way better. This one's a lot better and there's more things to do, um, better controls. So now when you take your puppy for a walk, you, you have a lot more control over what the puppy does and where uh -huh. you go. Cause like the other one, it's like, 
Whenever you saw a sign, it would just pee on it. <laughs> and now you have more control over where your puppy pees. Mm -hmm. We've only had my puppy pee once in my, the, the three hours we played. I mean, I only have to pee like once every three hours, so that's pretty normal. <laughs> I have to pee once every day. <laughs> that's, that's pretty normal, really. Another thing that's really cool about Little Friends Puppy Island is you get to build the island, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of customization in this uh -huh. game. So, like, if you're familiar with the first game mm -hmm. and you like the disc park, as you go through, there's a disc park. So, mm -hmm. but you actually get to you get to build you, stuff. You build you it. You get to build shops. You get to build parks. You get to build like sticks and well. You get to buy sticks. I think I think <laughs> my favorite customization part about this game, though, is yeah, it's kind of making your dogs <laughs> making your dogs look yeah, weird. Yeah, right, yeah. Elliot has Elliot has gone all out. Uh, Nick's matching them, and they're all matching right now. Putting mohawks on his dog. <laughs> put a mustache on his dog. Their owners is gonna be so mad. These aren't even your dogs, apparently. He's just watching yeah. them. He's I'm just only... like buying stuff and I'm just like, put this on. These people are going to come back to pick up their animals after their vacation. They're going to be like, why does my dog have a mustache? <laughs> so little friends, Puppy Island, we think that you should put that on your list to Santa. If you've been really nice, you might get this one for the Nintendo Switch under your tree. And Desmond, we're looking at your shot here. We got up to brighter streets right now. You can see the driver. Well, this is a suspect out of the Pomona area. Very high speed pursuit. That white Audi, you see it right there. The only thing that's keeping up with him is the helicopter, and it's not just us. That'd be the law enforcement. You can see it right there. Very reckless driving. Oh, we're, motorists. We're wow. worried now about motorists. Yes, this, this guy's trying to be a, a hero. Don't do that. Oh, that is frightening to watch, except we know the traffic is fairly light. Uh, uh, and now the suspect, the driver, on a pursuit. He's bailing. This is a foot pail. A male driver here. Oh, really oh wow, that's oh, so man. dangerous. He is, he is trying to get away. He's desperate at this time. Running off Interstate 5, Smoky Bear Road here. Male suspect here, a reckless driver suspect. He, uh, he made a quick move there. Nice stuff. Well dressed. It looks, it looks a little Louis, doesn't it? And he's still got his gloves on. I wonder what that's all about. So they're, they're watching, and I have to assume that oh, but they he, are he went they down by trying to, see right there. Oh, yeah, trying, trying to get, to get in. He's trying, trying to get in. Yeah, his behavior here, do. very alarming. Is he going <laughs> to? That was a hard crash. Well, here's my question. Where is law enforcement in this picture here? He couldn't have gotten too far away from where. Running back towards the street area where law enforcement is. He's got to be out of gas. Well, here's my okay, made now. it across, and, and now he can take a breather because he thinks he may have gotten away a little bit. He must they see something because uh -huh. he's, he's jumping and running down. There you there see. There they're okay. make, going in the to taser, make that they arrest. Got the it out. looks yeah. like he's not fully complying, making it a little bit difficult for law enforcement there. Uh, the face of that canine would scare me enough wow. to comply right there. Okay, it looks like he's we're, got his hands up. So yeah. it looks like he's, uh, he's going to be, uh, you can see a flurry <laughs> of CHP officers well, here. Yeah. It looks like they... All right, let's resume now. Judge Eliza Salazar, off her docket 162. Good morning. Good morning, Judge. Uh, uh, good, good morning, Judge. We're working through a line, and you're seeking expedited sentencing on behalf of Harris County. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. We have a large one here. A repeat offender, 12 counts, most imposing grand theft auto, lesser lewd conduct, and impersonating and endangering an animal. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Blitzen said he was good to drive. Uh, I'm not going to argue with something his size. He's a caribou. Uh, uh, he was already holding the keys. Well, well, well. As mild-mannered as ever in my court, I see. Welcome back, Mr. Pringle. How do you plead? Well, you see, I... One more chance. One more answer out of you is all we need, or you'll be spending the night in county. Oh, no. Not guilty, Your Honor. No attorney has been afforded to you. Do you understand by statute you do have the power and privilege to waive that right? I, I had an attorney. I did, but uh, me and him is on the outs on account of me being broke. And the court-appointed attorney, he smelled like 
sweet and sour ass. And that's coming from me. Liz, I expect that on an account of Mr. Claw's crime being on broadcast on television, you'll move for summary of judgment? We do, Your Honor, but... By the power vested in me in the great state of Illinois, oh, I oh, do oh, hereby oh, find oh, the oh, defendant Christopher oh, Candy oh. Pringle. Judge, Judge, Judge. Selzer, if you'd excuse me, we have a late submission for leniency uh, via a plea deal. I see. Yeah, yeah, a deal, a uh, deal. Yeah, actually, Judge, we seem to be losing video signal here. Yeah, I think so. I'll reconnect. Now listen here, Kringle. Oh shit. I don't have to tell you that this one is open and shut. And a birdie told me the judge is having a really bad day. Go on, I'm listening. You and I both know that your Christmas magic isn't worth a damn to help you out in situations like this. However, the bailiff's car is currently in impound. No fault of his own, you see. Good fella, and I owe him one. Well... What do you say that maybe next week his 4x4 shows up brand spanking new in his driveway? How would that sound? Um, my ex-husband... No, oh, hey, now hold on right there, Elizabeth. I can't make him fall in love. And I can't kill him either. My ex-husband and I are school shopping for our oldest. And they've applied to the MIT graduate program? MIT! Holy shit! Kid might as well want to go to school on the moon. All right, we're done here. I, 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 hold on now. I, I, I could do Columbia. And he's got to serve the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. How's that sound? One more thing. There's always one more thing, now, isn't it? You have to bring back Santa's Playhouse. Oh Lunch no! Time slot. Oh, oh no no! Two oh, hour special oh, on oh. public access. Ain't happening. The kids I, love it. I can't do you it. You were on the five o'clock news, getting chewed out like a prom date by police dogs. Community service is the only way to get you walking free. I'll do it. I'll do it. For the kids. I'll let the judge know we've come to an agreement. Well, Merry Christmas. Same to you. There's nothing more fun during the holidays than decorating the house. Putting up the Christmas tree, putting the lights on the house. Uh, we do all sorts of fun stuff. Putting up snowmen and Santa Clauses. So during today's holiday special, we thought it would be fun to decorate our consoles. And today we're going to be making a very Christmassy Nintendo GameCube. Do you guys know what a Nintendo GameCube is? Uh, yes, it's a very old console. It's not very old. It's a um, kind of old, like Nintendo with like CDs that are in there. And it's like, it's like, so it's like a Nintendo. Uh-huh. Like a switch. It's like it's like exactly like a switch, but like it takes little mini discs. It had some pretty rad games on it and a really funky controller. But one of my favorite parts of the Nintendo GameCube, first of all, it was purple. Go Vikings. Yeah. Uh, and second of all, it's like it looks like a lunchbox. Yeah, it, has it really nice, does. It has a handle on the top <laughs> that you can carry around. It's really heavy. So it was really fun to you know take it to your friend's house. You just pull a couple cords out the back, grab it by the handle, and away you go. So we are gonna make our Nintendo GameCube into a festive holiday decoration. Now, in order to get this done, we need supplies. We need some decorations. We need glittery ribbon, picks and pine cones and berries. We need a Christmas holiday wreath. What do we need here, Nora? Lights. Lights to light up Lights. our GameCube when it's done. You guys ready to get to work? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's get to work.
our Nintendo GameCube has been transformed into a beautiful Christmas centerpiece. You guys did a great job. Was that fun? Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah. Should we do some more Christmas projects? Yeah. yeah. We'll see you guys later in the show for more. We'll see, see you, you soon. soon. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Thank you to our secret Santa. Um, our secret Santa. Yeah, so somebody from the Team Mega Dads, I think, got these gifts for us. Or this is just some cables that I had ordered. <laughs> Keep recording. It's okay. This is not. <laughs> this might be a thumb. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> this isn't it. We'll, we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be back. This is going on the B roll, right? Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so take two. This is my secret Santa gift. And me and Lily are going to open it. Can you help me? Uh -huh. Help me. What do you think's inside? Guess. Uh, and what is it? I don't know. Why don't you pull, pull it out? Whoa. What is this it? is a doorstop. <laughs> this is a doorstop we ordered for the draft. So we will try one more. Time. Are you serious? This is crazy, man. <laughs> All right, third time's the charm. Is this the Mega Dad Secret Santa gift for me? It might be. I'm, I'm not even going to say it is. Oh, it is. Okay, and there's something else in here. Funny bumper wall stickers. Harris Hilton, I think. Somebody from The Office. Um... Oh, they're memes. Like, here's the, here's the racist frog. Gotta have, gotta have that. Oh, I love these. What a, what a thoughtful gift. God knows I don't see enough memes. Two gifts to help face everyday life with dignity. Happy holidays from Secret Santa. Well, thank you, Secret Santa. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Mega Family. Uh, I got my Secret Santa gift in the mail. I just slid it open and I'm gonna find out what's inside. So let's check it out. To the C Nutty Whisbro. Pretty close, right? Let's see. Oh, somebody knows I like Final Fantasy. The FF Dot Art Book. Thank you very much. Full of Pixel art from all the old school Final Fantasies, maybe even some other ones. Oh, this is sweet. I'm gonna check this out. I know my kid's gonna be excited about this too, so thank you very much, Secret Santa. This is this is in the records right now. Thank you. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm gonna open my Secret Santa present. Um, I don't know who this is from. That's okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It's oh my oh, god. I love oh it. My god. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Time for our Mega Dad Secret Santa gift opening. There's actually two packages here that showed up at two different times. So I don't know if there's a special order or anything for this, but we're gonna we're gonna see what's inside. Tube of something. Oh. Uh, it's toasted coconut body wash. Um, I'm wondering if maybe this is actually my Secret Santa gift, and maybe my Secret Santa <laughs> ordered something for themselves and it was still on my address. <laughs> Smells good. Or maybe what's in this box is gonna tie in with toasted coconut body wash. I don't know. If we ever find out, we'll give it back. <laughs> I know exactly who my secret Santa is. Who? So I can just ask him. Because my secret Santa bought me something several years ago to open for Extra Life and never changed the address that it goes to. So every time I get something from this person, it says my name 
Extra Life film opening. So even though he sent me several things that have nothing to do with Extra Life, it always says Extra Life on it, so it's a giveaway as to who it is. Last time this person bought me a bidet. Oh, Will? Okay, this is clearly a mistake. <laughs> because this is all really cool PlayStation stuff. Look at that! Super cool! There's a controller mug and a desk mat and a tube of acidified, acidified body wash, toasted coconut scented, which I assume is for his wife, but I'm gonna use it all over my body. Merry Christmas, everyone! Here we go! My name is Paul the Pizza. My name's Nora. And my name's Elliot. And we're talking all about Christmas. There's so many things to know about Christmas. There's a lot of rules. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot of stories. And one of my favorite stories is about Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a, and a what? What else did he have? And a butt in nose. He had a butt on his nose? Frosty's got a butt on his nose. I don't no. remember. I don't remember that from the song. What? It said butt on nose. No, butt in nose. A butt in his nose? How do you get his butt in his nose? I'm. What? No, butt in. Butt in. <laughs> no, that's all one word. Butt in. No, butt in is two words. That's no. definitely two words. No. B U T no. space I N. Butt in his nose. Okay, <laughs> Frosty the Snowman was a holly, a holly jolly happy soul or something. He's got a pipe which is not healthy. He's got a butt in his nose, and his eyes were made out of coal, right? Yes. Okay, so so here's his snowman. These little kids are making the snowman. They put his butt in his nose for some reason, and then he's got this magical hat. He's got he's got this. <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? He's got this magic hat that they stick on his head and he brings them to life. And the first thing he says is, why is my butt in my nose? That's not what he said! It stinks <laughs> like poop because my butt's in my nose. It smells like poop. So here's my question about Frosty. Yep. We're just gonna move on past the butt in his nose thing because I think we've established it's that. It's not that's... a butt in his nose. It's a butt in nose. That's exactly what I said. Do you know what a butt in is? Yeah. It's, it's right here. I got your butt in my face. It's a button, not a butt. It's, it's a button, like a belly button. It's a button, not a booty. He's got a belly button in his nose? <laughs> All right, whatever. Anyway, here's my question about Frosty. He's got a magic hat. Yep. He's got a scarf. Yep. <laughs> Where's the rest of his clothes? He's a snowman. He's a snowman. He doesn't have clothes. Why? He's got a hat. He's got a scarf. Where's his pants? <laughs> Does he not need pants because his butt is in his nose? He's balls. He's what? A <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say to me? He's bald. Snowman! Oh my god, this is terrible. No, why did you do that to poor Swapty? This is not the way this is supposed to go. I guess that's it. I guess that's all we gotta say about well, Frosty. Button, button. Yeah, that. It's yep. a button. Get his button his jeans? No, or, button like a button shirt. You, no, you, you put your butt in your pants. <laughs> Not in your shirt. The butt goes in your pants. Look at you. Do you even dress yourself? Is your butt in your pants? Or is your butt, is your, butt in your shirt? <laughs> I don't understand why this is so complicated. See you next time, everybody. Bye! Welcome back from break, everybody. Now, I just want to give a special thanks to Representative Mendoza for taking the time to talk to us about Proposition 16. Remember, kids, municipal water supply issues are everybody's problem. <laughs> oh, what did you think about that, Dinky? Dinky the dinosaur.
Oh, that was boring as hell. Why did we spend all the time talking about that? Oh, Dinky, don't you be mean now. Local government is everyone's government. Oh, local government is so crooked. Look at all the legal trouble they put you in for nothing. Oh, don't y'all go now defending me, Dinky. We'll be all right in the end. Oh, that reminds me. Santa's Playhouse is brought to you by the likes of Judge Salazar as part of community service on this local channel. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're having a great time over here. I wouldn't rather be out doing anything else. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's time for my favorite segment, The Blast from the Past. <laughs> now, let me just... I'm just gonna grab my little gi guitar here. Now, for today's musical segment, we're gonna bring y'all back to the summer 98, when me and Dylan was stuck in the desert in El Palialto. What happened is we got real slammed on some bad peyote, and we wrote this following song. <clears throat> oh, now y'all know what time that is. Looks like we're gonna have to wrap things up. We'll get to that one next time. <laughs> Before we go, I do want to take the reader mail. It's Santa's favorite segment of the Playhouse Show. Let's see what we got here. Bills and jury duty. Oh, of course, a ye course. This one stuck out to me. Wanted to address this. <clears throat> this ye letter comes from little Tina McCleary out of Dubuque, Iowa. And she writes, Dear Santa, my dad says you're a bad guy and a washed up has been. I would like ballerina slippers for Christmas, please. Well, at least she said please. <clears throat> Let me address the old elephant in the room, so to speak. Uh, Santa gets into some hot water from time to time. He's right, he's right. But there's neither here nor there, okay? And uh, my legal woes ain't your daddy's problem. <clears throat> but I do want to say this, maybe uh, as a topic of ye conversation, you can talk to your mama and ask her why your daddy spends so much time with his assistant late nights, including last month on the company trip to Colorado. All I'm saying. Well, looks like that's all the time we have this year, kiddos. Uh, uh, remember, we're brought to you by Mega Dads, where gaming life meets real life. Talking about video games and all that. It's some weeb nerd shit. But hey, you do you, fellas. Well, thank you all for joining us here for this episode of Santa's Playhouse. Yay! Court mandated fun since 2020. Ha <laughs> ha We'll see you all next time. And remember... I know where ye live, and I seen where ye sleep. <laughs> oh, we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>